What's up guys, we're gonna build beats and today I'm gonna be showing you guys some shortcuts you can use to improve your workflow. If you guys haven't slipped already or turn post on, make sure you do so because it does help it a lot. So this video, I'm gonna try to keep it quick, try to really edit this up so you can see the shortcuts and chop it up. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the first one. Starting with the first one, we have F3. Now F3 is going to pop up a quick menu. All right, now it's the same as this just with the tools. All right, so if you're working, and you know it's kind of annoying going back and forth, so you can just click F3. Now, if you have a mouse where you can remap the buttons or something like that, um, you could do, have it set up like I have. I have a button mapped to F3, so I can just click it anywhere I want. All right, you could just pick whatever settings you want. All right, so that is F3. Let's move on to the next one. Up next, we have the tool switcher. Now, what this is, is basically going to switch your tools automatically. So what you want to do is hold right click and just scroll. You should be able to do this on your laptop as well if you have one. Um, but I'm using a mouse so you can just switch your tools. And you can see them changing up here. So if you want to place something down and then you want to cut it and then go back to the, the pencil tool, you can. All right. So there's that one. So let's move on to the next one. Now, this one I like to call the lock chop. Um, and you, what you want to do is just use the slice tool. And if you just hold shift and you can just click, it'll lock the chop in place. Now, usually it'll be something like this and it snaps, but you can see that it only snaps for the bottom. But if you hold shift, you can chop it however you want, right? Straight up and down. Okay. So it just pretty much just locks it in place so that you can have a smooth chop. All right, so there's that one. So let's move on to the next. Now this next one involves the drum paint tool. So you can see it's the third one, not the paint tool, the drum paint. All right, so we can click this one. Um, and I just got some hi-hats loaded up. So if you just click and drag, it'll snap to the grid. But if you wanna make a smaller chop, what you can do, and make sure I'm zoomed in, is you can hold Alt and it'll chop it in a smaller uh, degree. All right, so there's that one. Let's move on to the next. Now we have broad select. And if you hold control, click and drag, you can select whatever you want here. Now these next ones involve the paint tool. So you'll need the paint tool. And the first one would be just to, we could just play some notes. Now what you can do is hold shift you can just drag the notes without having to place any new ones. All right, so you could do this with hi-hats and stuff like that. Now, in order to smart select, what you have to do is hold shift and press control. All right, so hold shift and control at the same time, and you can select any one that you want. You could deselect and all that. And depending on what tool you have, it will do different things like mute, all right? Now with the paint tool, if you just click and drag all the way, it'll just place everything in order, right? Now you see this little space, what you could do is hold Alt and then click and drag. And you can see that gap is closed and I'll show you a comparison between the two, all right? Now this is a pretty useful one, especially when you're trying to make a melody. Um, now regularly, if you try to drag with the pencil, it'll do this, but if you hold Shift, click and drag, as you're placing a note, you can drag out the note. So say right here, you wanna match this, right? And you can click and drag and it will save the length as well. Okay. Next, we have a setting, which is resizing from the left. Now this one, most people know about, you can also use this menu to get there if you want, but let's just do the old fashioned way. What you wanna do is go to piano roll options, go to edit, and make sure allow resizing from left is on. So now you can resize this from each side. This next one is a grid option and I do plan on making a full video about this and how to use it. But for now, if you just go up to snap to grid and you go to events, uh, the grid will snap to the notes that you have placed. And you, I'm sure you can see how this can be useful for making a melody. So you'll see the light, the notes light up in the background. And this is extremely helpful. Like I said, I'll make a video on this on how to use this to create a melody, but you can see how helpful that is. All right, 
so you don't really even need to switch um your you know your instruments to see what's what you got going on now this next one is really really cool and i'm surprised i haven't seen anyone use it um it's pretty much what you're going to be doing is shifting the notes over without having to do it manually so how you would do this is you hold shift and you just click and drag between so you want to put your cursor between the notes so you can see how you could change the rhythm that easy so you don't have to do this anymore right and you see when you have that event grid on it'll lock it and now you could change it back okay now this next one comes in handy as well and pretty much it'll just turn off the grid and allow you to fine tune anything in fl so if you hold alt so you can see let's go to this tool to see how it's locked to the grid now if i hold alt i could place it wherever my cursor is so if you want to resize it and you just want to resize it a little bit and you probably see me do this sometimes you can hold alt and you can micro tune it all right now this one is really useful and i really only use this if i accidentally forget to clone my original pattern but what you what it is pretty much is you're just um undoing the split so if you right click and you split by channel what you're gonna do is just highlight your flips right you can press Control g or you can go up to the piano list go to edit i believe and you can click merge flips so i'm gonna just do the shortcut way Control g and you can see now everything is back in here this next one is really easy all we're going to do is reset the view so all you want to do is hold control and press right click and it'll reset the view and show you all of your melodies even the ones in the background now this one is really essential and i think a lot of people already know how to do this just like the most common shortcut but what you want to do is hold alt and press k and you can see mine automatically went to c because i have it set that way so if yours isn't like this what you can do is i'm gonna just reset mine so what you can do is just hold control and just click on the note that you want it to go to so for me i want c so you can see it's locked and it'll stay like this forever as long as you accept it so this next one all we're going to do is stretch all notes so you just have to highlight all of them and then press control and then l and everything will stretch out so it looks like one long note right now what we're going to do is articulate the notes and pretty much it's just going to shorten them up so you hold alt and l and you can see that it'll just shorten the notes up so if you want to do this with your chords or something um you could do that all right and i'm just keep my regular up next we have the time marker and all you have to do for this is press Control t and now it'll auto add a marker and now from here you can right click and just add stuff all right now this one is just to copy all your notes over so you hold Control a to highlight everything and then the actual shortcut for this is Control b you see you can copy it over as many times so Control b is that one now this next one is a two-in-one and this is the chop now everyone knows how to do the chop but what i want to show you is what they're actually doing so this is the third grid we're in so if you press alt u it'll actually chop to the fourth grid right so this type grid right so we could do that and you can change things here but this is just the default you can see it's not the same so if we go to the fourth grid you can see it's chopped perfectly to the fourth grid all right now if you wanted to chop to the third grid what you got to do is press Control u right you're controlling it right that's the way i remember it so we can just hold Control u and you can see it chops to the third grid all right all right so these are the last three i'll just do in one um so the first one is actually hiding so you press alt z so you want to highlight the ones you want so say if you want this one gone this one gone this one you press alt z and you can hide them and i pretty much just use this for tutorials when i don't want i don't want people distracted so sometimes i'll hide the drum so they, we could just focus on the melody stuff like that or just organization purposes all right so the next one would be cloning so 
um, you can call them VSTs. I'm gonna just clone these so it's just easier on the CPU. So you wanna press Alt C. You can clone these as many times as you want. Okay, and you could also do this with VSTs. Uh, just be careful, you might crash the computer if it's not a good computer. All right. And the last one would be Alt Delete. And this is pretty self explanatory. You could just delete everything here. All right. Boom. But all right, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.